Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men said, Good, I hated, the, I hated that prick. And Flumpty is no different. Mm -hmm. But you'll see why. I'm Pixel Cheesecake. And I'm Shala. And you're going to hear this. And one day I'm going to upload the secret intro where I lose my mind. Yeah, we have a bunch of clips of audio issues, video issues, technical derpiculties, yeah. compilation at 1,000 subscribers. So feel free to like, subscribe, and share before this dog pulls my hand away from the keyboard again. Yeah. You see, we have nuggets and they're here to beg. Make sure you watch the game. Pupper ASMR. And let's jump right into this. I'm just gonna hit escape to bring up the options, make it a little louder to hear the phone call. But uh I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, so so my uh Uh oh. Flumpty, where'd you go? Looks like this game is over easy. Yep. So is V for volume but good enough? Hopefully we'll, maybe we'll just talk loud enough. We won't have to worry about volume. Well, we died immediately, so let's do this properly, for real. The mission is, as always, with these Five Nights games. New Dork Rhymes, Flumpty Kidnaps Person Because He Felt Like It. It's not kidnapping, it's just borrowing without permission. Is there any significance to the guy on the toilet? Uh, he's the equivalent of Foxy. Hi, my name's Flumpty. I can transcend the plot, and I'm coming for you. Flumpty nope. is real, and he is coming for you! Stay in Cam 1, you goobers. Uh, what's the uh, square head? Square head steel.
His face is the second creepiest in the game. Oh. Oh, cool. I'm a lot farther in than... Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I jumped. One for foot, two bit. <laughs> yeah, I should have looked, tried harder looking for the monsters. But you, you said you had some things about the Five Nights at Freddy's game that you wanted to talk about. So I had a. Well, I uh. I kind of assumed that Pixel had all of the. Uh, FNAF games. It's. I guess. You know. You know what make. What assumptions make. I thought you picked him up. Be, being hyped for him. Crap, crap, crap. And, uh, I think I have to stay on camera one. Man drinks lava and lives, kind of. What references do you see? We can address the elephant in the room. I think the elephant kind of looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> yep. I'm guessing the log is an obtuse reference to the to the uh, old to the game that uh, Scott uh, Hawthorne made before uh, he did Five Minutes of Freddy. It's like a lumber yard uh, thing. Chip and Chip and Sons lumber yard management. Yeah, that thing. Honestly, this... Uh, you're buying it, aren't you? You're buying the games, aren't you? I'm going to buy the first one. The door... The door got jammed. He... Swumpty and Box Boy are there. That needs to stay in that hole. Mm -hmm. Good. As you know, Care Bears, they're... It's a punch... 
there's a bunch of like different games and toys and stay in camera two. Nope, not today, mother. Decided to be a pain in the butt, so I'll have to tear it through the the desk through the desktop version. Yeah. Ha ha! You, I'm getting better at this. Yeah. If I go into dark red, I'm fucked. I assume dark red is significant power drainage. Yep. Sitting on the toilet is fun. It's like it's looking at you like the fuck you staring at. Okay. Cool. I might actually beat this one beat this game. It's like either a uh, DC or Marvel comic where it's like this guy had uh, like captured a bunch of uh, super heroines and, like for some kind of like game and, and they're like starting to uh, like monitoring them like, oh, you, you, you monitoring us because you want to watch us piss? You piss boy? Ha uh ha. -huh. He so drains the pet. He so drains the power when he when he runs in from that side, but mm -hmm. stay in your hole. There's no real reason I'm hitting that clown nose. Well, I imagine the reason is because of the honk. Uh, Do you want to try? No. Well, part of the thing is I'm the part of the reason I'm jumping as well is because Rex is playing Resident Evil Village uh -huh. live right now. As I record this. Go back in time and watch it live. 
and he's dealing with the monsters and can I get the phone phone to ring again So the complete, the complete story of Five Nights at Freddy's, as my dumbass understands it. Are you ready? Okay. There once, once upon a time, there was a man named William Afton. He had he is a whiz at robotics. Uh -huh. He had a friend who was also a whiz at robotics. Screw you, Flumpty. Mm -hmm. They made a pizza restaurant out of it and expanded from from more than just one. Than just one robot. They made more. And then they happened upon this stuff this purple stuff containing soul essence or something. Yeah. I'm not sure how that all works, but... Haha, okay, -ha, I'm numb to it. Yeah. That was a little on me. So, yeah. That scared you? No, I meant the death. Like, that was all, all, my, was all my fault. Oh, I thought you were... And he's not even the scariest one. He's just the one who can transcend the plot. Which is a superpower I really want. This game is probably the most and least forgiving FNAF game. Screw you, Flumpty. I feel like if you could ascent, if you could find out the the plot then you could uh then you would find out what's really going on in the world you know find out who's the uh the main character of reality yeah you'd kidnap them and just have a bunch of your friends tie them to a chair and just flunk the Flumpty them. Okay, Box Boy's right there in that hallway. Flumpty's there in that hallway. Okay, cool. 1 a.m., they both popped in at the same time.
Screw you, box boy. This is one of those sit and survive games. Okay, thank God. You're still in your seat. Do you like the way they have AM right there? Yeah. Oh. Don't all the games like this have the time? Some don't. They'll have the symbols or... Some have feckin' alienies. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, shoot. You ran out of toilet paper. Uh, I'm out of toilet paper. Mind if I use your flesh? He took a pretty chunk of power that way. Oh. Haha! -ha, gotcha! Gotcha, bitch. I see your patterns not a completely non existent. Good, he still has two of the big nope. Nope. I have to use the cameras to try and draw them away. Oh, look, it's a portal to hell. What's new, Beelzebub? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, Beelzebub? Whoa, 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 whoa. Crap. Well, we alerted the clan, the clown. Hey, you remember that that joke I made about finding out uh, reality's main character, like from five minutes ago? Yep. What if it was that reality's main character was Shao Kahn? <laughs> I could believe that. And the player two option was Aretha Franklin. Well, if Shao Kahn died, well, the credits will roll on reality. <clears throat> Which is why everyone wants to protect Kevin Bacon so bad. Mm. When Steve Jobs died, no one had had any could find a job. When Johnny Cash died, no one could get money. Yeah. Are you saying that when Steve when uh, Kevin Bacon dies, the bacon will be will evaporate off Earth? No, the pork industry will ha suffer some sort of super severe swine flu or pigs become sentient. Mm. 
Not sure which, but it's going to be one heck of a ride either way. There will need to be action. Change. We will need a windbreaker. Tank's empty. Just thinking. We were too worried about the apes that we forgot to worry about the boars. And the the only good timeline is if the capybaras become sentient next, they'll tame two cans and just live on their own island. I fail to see how that helps us. The capybaras are like the most chill rodents. But why are they so chill? They're just indifferent about our, about us being killed off by the boys. That's why there's, that's why they're perfect. They don't care about us. They'll just go off and do their own thing. So they won't help us in the slightest, is what you're saying. Not like, not like that's a bad thing. And I fail to see its relevance. Relevance. One the For goals to make it to six a.m. about a resident uh, evil village do you know? Ethan Winters has a daughter okay. and a wife. Uh -huh. Wife's back and dead. Daughter's missing. Uh -huh. Ethan Winters, being the one who naturally can't catch a break to save his life. Okay, let me ask you a more directed question. How much do you know about uh, Donna from the game? Not a whole heck of a lot. Why? Okay, here's a light spoiler. So, you know how, like... Uh, anyway, your spoiler. So you know how the, uh... The, like, big bads of the game have, like, special powers? Yep. So, uh, Donna's thing is that she can, like control her like dolls oh house of a thousand dolls yeah where all the dolls just come to life like that scene that would have that probably freaked out out Sid so much he became a garbage collector from Toy Story so play nice. For a second there, I thought you meant like Sid Haig. But, uh... Sid Haig versus Sheriff Woody. Who do you think wins that fight? Uh, I'm gonna go with Sid Haig. <laughs> but, uh... I've never known Sid Haig to destroy a toy. And what is kind of like ripped apart now, so his badge is gone, his voice box is gone. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, so like the little like doll enemy is actually just being controlled by Donna. 
and I had the thought of like imagine you're having like sex with Donna just imagine she's like laying on her back the like the doll on her stomach yeah and you're you know you're doing your your thing and Donna is just like as quiet as an emotionless as a corpse but on her stomach is her doll and her doll just like is like doing the like the moaning and Oh my god. I thought you were going to say something completely different and potentially worse. Like. She's, Cause she, but she does she'll. Like she's enjoy, enjoying it, but she has the doll do the like. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Fuck yes! Fuck! I thought you were gonna do something much worse. Where you're on top of Donna, she's enjoying it, but she controls the puppet to sneak up behind you and goose. With a doll hand. Ethan at the bar just. You ever got a prostate massage from a puppet? <laughs> Ethan Winters is not an okay mentally. Oh, is not okay mentally. No, you don't. And thank you, Lumpty, for. No wait, not at the bar. He's got some. He got the. The like. The uh, yeah, like the meat you get from the animals that you can use for upgrades, and the merchant is just like, yeah, let's not talk about that. Is there a reason why the beaver man is uh, stationed on the toilet? Maybe he just has irritable bowel syndrome. IBS is a pain in the ass. I can, I I understand that without having it my having it ever. a.m. I'm good-ish on door power unless crap he's out of toilet paper how out of toilet paper you know what better safe than sorry The Beaver Man is out of toilet paper. Yeah. 
I couldn't help but notice that when he was off the toilet, there seemed to be more of a tunnel going on with the toilet bowl. Instead of, you know, a toilet bowl. Yep. With the words, I've run out, and he was running towards the door. See, it's deep. It's like, I've run out of toilet paper, and I've run out of the st outside of the stall. Knew it. I fucking knew it. I may actually win this one. You're good ish on toilet paper. Hell. What was that? Thing? I stayed on top of that. Is that the thing that in the hole? Nope, that's something a lot more ridiculous. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna win win it personally so we can try we can try another game if you're more comfortable with that than all on you it's a remake white man can't jump i feel like they should do a one for one remake of the toxic avenger see how See how many people get offended at the script alone. Like, someone working out and complaining there's fat on them, so they work out harder. The Amy, Sh an Amy Schumer cameo of her just snacking like crazy in the gym, barely moving. Perfect spot for her. Apparently it's uh, Max Reddick's last role. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Uh oh. The second you hear it, we stop recording, I'm just gonna buy the net. Camera good. So I need to check in on this camera like every hour or so. Okay. Is Cam C the uh, the Hell King? Yep. Aha! Screw you, Flumpty. Just because you're not directly at the doorway doesn't mean you're not right there. Screw you, box boy.
This is what, attempt number seven? Uh, something like that. And I'm dead. Yeah. And the doors are jammed, they're inside. Yeah. Yep, this game was over easy. If you want me to not be a little bish about it and see it through to the end. Let me know in the comments below, and we will play a round two of this. If you want us to play something else, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. At a, th at a thousand subscribers, we will sh share a compilation of all our audio and video quality issues where we lose our shit. But until then... We will see all of you in whatever the heck we decide to play next. But for now, screw you, Flumpty. I don't care how much you can transcend the plot. Transcend traditional uh, uh, progr programming things. Bye bye. Bye bye now.